In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to cancel your GitHub Copilot subscription. Whether you're looking to pause your subscription or just trying to manage your expenses, this guide will help you through the process seamlessly in about five minutes. Let's jump right in. First things first, we need to head over to GitHub's website, so open up your web browser and enter github.com in the address bar. Once the page has loaded, log in with your credentials. If you have multiple accounts or manage a team account, make sure you're logging into the correct account that you want to cancel the subscription from. Take a moment here to ensure everything's right because it makes the process smoother as we go along. Once you're successfully logged in, look towards the upper right corner of the page where you'll find your profile photo. Click on it, a drop-down menu will appear. From there, select Settings. This will take you to a page where you can manage your personal GitHub account settings. Navigating through these settings might seem a bit tedious at first, but don't worry, I'm here to guide you. On the left-hand side of the settings page, you'll see a sidebar filled with various options. We're looking for billing and licensing or billing and plans, depending on what it might be named on your screen. Click on that. It's here where you can see a detailed overview of your account's financial engagements, such as current plans, past billing details, and of course, your subscriptions. Now, once you're on the billing page, look for the section labeled GitHub Copilot. Here, you'll find all the details related to the Copilot subscription you wish to cancel. Beneath that section, you'll notice a button that says Manage Subscription. Clicking on this will open up further options related to the management of your Copilot subscription. Among these options, you'll see Cancel Subscription. Clicking this begins the cancellation process. GitHub might ask you to confirm this cancellation to prevent accidental subscriptions from being canceled. Go ahead and confirm it. Remember, once you confirm, it doesn't mean your access to Copilot will immediately stop. You'll still have access to the service until the end of your current billing cycle, which can be quite handy if there are remaining features you want to utilize before it officially ends. And that wraps up our tutorial on how to cancel your GitHub Copilot subscription. Hopefully you found this guide easy to follow. If you have any questions or need further assistance, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more helpful content. Until next time, happy coding!